I truly believe that only God needs to know what you're praying about. And when you release a request to God, I can tell you tonight that God is able. He's able to do exceedingly abundantly. In other words, what I'm trying to tell you is God can handle your mess. And God knows for the most part that many of us, when we pray, we just came out of a mess. And if we don't hurry up and pray, we're headed into a mess. Because Satan does not want you to succeed. Now I want to take you back to the essence of the word. In the book of Matthew, chapter 6, Jesus is having a very intimate conversation with his disciples. And it seems as though it is a somewhat of a casual situation, but Jesus knows that these selected few will be responsible for carrying the good news and the gospel of the kingdom of God and that gospel that they will carry will ultimately change the world. Now sometimes we don't understand why we go through circumstances or why we go through situations but I want to believe that if you only trust God and if we allow God to teach us then what we're going through won't seem to be as heavy of a burden. Now most of you know and I know you have a, a Bible based I know that this pastor, uh, because as he said earlier, I hang out with his dad. And the reason I hang out with his father, because where his dad has already gone, the more you play, the more hell breaks you But I want to tell you, trouble don't last. Jesus was on the other side and the disciples was rolling out in the boat and then all of a sudden a storm came up. So somebody tell them, I know what I know about storms. I don't really do, I know about storms. The Bible says when the storm rose up, they looked up and they saw Jesus coming to them, walking on the wall. Yes, yes. Peter looked out across the boat and says, Jesus? Is that you? He said, if it's you, tell me to come. All right, right. You see, Pastor, when you pass the churches like we do, you got some people that's sitting in the boat. And they're trying to figure out whether or not you are going to step out from among the crowd. Then when Peter looked up, he says, yes, that is you, Jesus. I think I'll get out the boat. And the Bible said, he began to walk on the water. You might not realize it right now, but you're in a time in your life now to where you've got to do things that other people say is impossible for you. He 
said, I want you to learn something. But this is in the early stages of the ministry. This is in the very early stages of the ministry. So Jesus said, listen, this is what I'm telling you. When you do some charitable acts and some giving, he said, now, don't be like the hypocrites. Because they love to be seen. They love to be in the utmost seats in the temple. They love to be noticed for their wardrobe and their jewelry. They love this to be, they, they love to be, be encouraged. But you see, you know when you're in God's favor is when people look at you and don't say nothing. Can I get a good amen? Because they can't figure out why you haven't lost your mind. Why, amen, that you're not in a room with pads all around you. Because you see, I'm not like the hypocrites. Now somebody tell me, I ain't like the hypocrites. See, I know that whatever you saw it, that shall you also reap. And I know tonight that when you give to God in secret, the God will what reward be over me. I wish I had witnessed you tonight because, see, somebody trying to figure out why you were blessed and they don't know why you were blessed. Thank you. 